So the next spot I want to take you guys to, I use a lot of their tools in my shop. You know, one of the best sets of top handles I ever got when I first bought my toolbox was from them, and that's Starrett. I know they have some pretty crazy vision systems in there right now, a lot of industry 4.0 stuff, stuff that you probably wouldn't expect if you're used to manual equipment from Starrett, so I want to make sure you guys check this one out. So the next stop on our IMTS tour is Starin, and I'm joined by my friend Tim. Tim, thanks for joining us today. Ian, happy to meet you, sir. Now, I see you guys have some new stuff. I was checking out your booth a little bit earlier here. One of these things that really caught my eye was this wireless data collection system. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. So about 18 months ago, we went to market with our new uh, data collection system, and with that, we introduced wireless hand tools that will send data with a push of a button. Up to, up, to up to 30 feet, you can send this either to an Excel or you can go right to a mobile app, whether it's Android or Apple, right to the back pocket in your phone or tablet. So what you just did there, just because that was really fast, I'm, I'm kind of still shocked that that happened. There's no wires here, there's nothing here. That little dial, you just press that button on that part and that pulled that straight into your laptop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for inspection on the floor, you could literally have one of these and a spreadsheet. You could be checking parts all day and someone could go at the end without having to manually input anything and check how those parts were running. Absolutely. And, and you can see the efficiency that creates and the error from writing down manually where that will take that out. And what kind of shops do you see right now putting this kind of thing on the floor? Medical, aero, defense, uh, anything that's ISO that really needs their uh, SBC for historical data to uh, confirm what they're making is accurate. Absolutely. And I'm sure if you had some some kind of ERP system at your shop, you could pull this data straight from this into that. It will tie into any ERP, MR, MRP system. Now for a company that, you know, I have Sarah Tap handles in my shop, I have edge finders, we use a lot of metrology stuff. This is brand new to me. I see obviously this is a height gauge. What other kind of connections can we use with this system? Uh, micrometers, uh, indicators obviously, bore gauges, uh, slide calipers, so we could have height gauges right behind you. We could yeah. have someone doing QA on the floor, on the fly with this, and have everything input into this right away. Absolutely. That's absolutely crazy. Now, if we're gonna move over this way a little bit, obviously, we see the classic Sarah Granite. You guys still have these if people need them. Absolutely, yes, sir. Uh, manufactured right in uh, Minnesota. Right in Minnesota? Absolutely. I actually didn't know that. I saw over here, though, besides, you know, our classic stuff, there is some other new stuff. Can we take a look at that? Absolutely, so we are excited. We are, we, we are excited. To, to announce all this new product here at IMTS 2022. Uh, what we have here, this whole top row, is our uh, indicators, electronic indicators, ranges from half an inch, one inch, two inches, four inch, 50 mil accurate. Even on the four inch, you'll still get your 50 millionths accuracy. We also are, offer the wireless versions that we just saw over there, and non-wired, where you could uh, put a, an external radio backpack on there to do the same uh, demonstration we just saw in collecting data. So all this stuff on top of that also connects to that system? Absolutely. So this is really, I guess they're calling it Industry 4.0? 100%. Getting and, everybody ready for it. And with that, we're taking a lot of our classic tools, such as a, a portable thickness gauge that many people in the industry would see would normally have a dial indicator. So we're taking this technology with our wireless indicators and instituting it into our older product as well. And one thing I saw here, I don't know if this will come off, I've actually never seen one of these before and this caught my eye. Can you explain what this is? People Absolutely. may know this, but I've never seen it before. So this is just a snap gauge. Uh, what's this used for is a lot of times inspectors walking around the shop have to do their QA, so they'll just keep this right in their back pocket, pull it out. You got a zero to half inch range. Yep, that part's to, to spec. Go ahead and continue machining. I want one of those in my pockets for the rest of my life. There you go, sir. Maybe we can work on something. So what are we looking at right here? This is obviously some kind of wireless connection. What are we looking at? Yeah, so if you do not have a wireless tool, you have the, the tool with the external backpack, you would take your remote gateway and repeater and piggyback, depending on the distance. You can go 200 feet, another 200 feet, and if you even need to go miles, you, you, we have an antenna right here that will go miles across campus if need be. So you could put a few of these in your shop and essentially network the whole thing wirelessly. Absolutely. 20 tools will speak to each one of these gateways. Amazing. 